Streamlabs is sponsoring me to teach you how to take your Twitch clip or your YouTube clip and then post that on YouTube Shorts in order to get more promotion, in order to get your content out there by hitting the algorithms in a new way. Streamlabs has designed this new thing called Cross Clip that allows you to quickly grab that clip and export it to your phone so you can share on socials quickly. What do I mean by that? I made tutorial videos teaching all of these steps, but here's the too long didn't watch version. Basically, you're gonna make a clip on YouTube, copy the URL, or make a clip on Twitch, copy the URL, and then bring that into crossclip.com, link below to that. You're gonna bring the clip in here, you're gonna paste the URL, you're gonna get the clip, then you're gonna bring that clip into the editor here. I, t I taught in a previous tutorial on how to use all these settings, but long story short, if you're looking to post on YouTube Shorts, you're going to want to edit a version that's either portrait or square for YouTube Shorts, okay? Then once you're done editing your short that you're gonna post on socials, you're gonna click compile, and it's gonna export a portrait format video that you can use uh, or a square format video that you can use. You can choose which format you want to use for YouTube Shorts. Tutorial videos on all of that if you wanna catch up with the step we're at right now. So the final item that you're gonna do here is you can either share on desktop directly from this clip page by clicking the share button, and then you can post it on various social platforms as you can see over here, but that's just gonna be a link to a URL. That's not what you want. What you want is to use the mobile app to post the video natively on the platform you wanna post it on. So here we are, I've got the mobile app open. This is free, this is the CrossClip mobile app link below to check this out. And we are going to grab our clip that we've already exported on desktop. It's gonna automatically sync to your app automatically. We're going to select the clip that we wanna post on YouTube Shorts just by clicking it. And then you can click the share button down here at the bottom. I wanna show you this because there's two different ways to post on YouTube that are gonna have two different outcomes. When you hit share here on your mobile, it works the same on iOS and Android, guys. And when you click YouTube, see the YouTube icon down there? It's going to tee up this video to be posted as a regular video on YouTube, okay? So you probably don't want to post your video as a regular video on YouTube if you have it in portrait format like this or you have it in square format like this and if it's incredibly short. You're probably going to want to post it as a YouTube short instead. So don't make the mistake of posting it like this unless you've made a landscape format video that is a quote unquote normal YouTube video. Got it? So don't use this auto sharing method on YouTube. It's not gonna work out very well for you in terms of getting traction in the algorithm. So what you're gonna wanna do instead is log into the main YouTube app as you can see right here, and hit the plus button at the bottom, and there it is, create a short is what you're gonna to wanna to use here. The beta version of that is available on the core YouTube app, not on YouTube Studio, okay? So click create a short, and then now we're talking, now we have the interface that will allow us to select a video we have already grabbed through cross clip. So you're going to click the little square in the bottom left hand corner to pull from your library of videos. And then what you can do is you can pick one of the videos that you got from cross clip here from your library. So I'm going to select this video right here and boom, it automatically pulled it from cross clip app into YouTube app so we can post on YouTube shorts. You have the opportunity to trim it if you want to cut the fat on the front or the back by trimming the front of the back of the clip down here. Then you hit next. And then what you're going to want to do, I'm not going to you know, teach you how to optimize your video because it's your content, but you want to consider adding a title to the uh, top of the video and um, you know something that's going to catch people's attention. Uh, and you are gonna to wanna to do something that at a glance, somebody could understand what the video is about by adding a title to the top and or bottom uh, along the way. You can also add music to it if you want, and you can pull from the YouTube music library if you wanna add more flavor there, and you can add uh, different filters and what have you, and of course, select in a timeline all of the elements that you're using to uh, post this particular piece of content on YouTube, got it? You need to optimize your video based on your audience and what you're trying to communicate. Then you're gonna hit next, and then what you're gonna do is caption your short. 
put some some sort of interesting title here that put a lot of thought into this and make something incredibly interesting and clickable think very very clickable on youtube just like a regular youtube video and then there's the select an audience button go ahead and choose whether it is for kids or no it's not made for kids and you can also do age restrictions if need be please be very honest with those items when you're done there and then once this is complete then you're going to hit upload and then boom it's uploading the video to YouTube as a YouTube short. And then whenever the upload is complete, what you're gonna do is click see video. And once it's done processing here, you will be able to see that short uploaded to YouTube in its native environment. And boom, you have now posted to YouTube as a YouTube short. Now I didn't go over all the YouTube short optimization that you should be using. There's other tips and tricks as a part of that. This was just a tutorial on how to use cross clip to post to YouTube. Cross clips value here, guys, is that it saves you time when you're grabbing that clip from YouTube or Twitch, and then the editing and exporting process is faster, where you can just quickly drag and drop essentially where the camera is, where the action is with the content, and quickly output a video for you to be able to post on socials fast, 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 without using having to use a hardware editor and doing traditional rendering, which sucks up lots of your time. If you wanna check out Cross Clip, there's a link below to it. I highly recommend it to my digital consulting clients. It's freaking great. Highly recommend making a bunch of clips for the entire week, for example, getting them all on your cross clip app, and then just posting them on socials as the week goes by as you see fit. So you can be in editing mode one day, and then just be posting throughout the week nice and easy breezy. Saves so much time. Enjoy. Adios creators.